Uh, really, it's uh, for me a great honor to be able to co-host this workshop because the hazardous chemicals and, and the pesticides among them are indeed a, a massive problem that we that we face as a humanity. Uh, and you know, going all the way back, if you look at uh, the OSPAR convention, uh, more than 20 years ago, 25 years ago, committed to uh, end releases of hazardous chemicals into environment, and yet we still have a massive problem. Uh, yes, I'm not going to repeat where everywhere you can find hazardous chemicals, in, uh, and uh, including pesticides. Um, back in the day of being environmental campaigner, we tested the hell out of it. Uh, and it's it's really everywhere. And I think this is something which is especially a challenge for the most vulnerable groups. Um, and being a father, this is something which uh, it's obvious that the, the children are uh, one of the most vulnerable groups because of the early stages of development, being so sensitive to impact of endocrine disrupting chemicals. That's where I feel it's a big loss that we didn't get when we fought the REACH battle uh, the endocrine disruptors for under the mandatory substitution regime. So that's something which I hope that we will be able to look at. But also, uh, it's sad to see how much uh, we have omitted the, well, not us, actually the member states, omitted the proper implementation of the Sustainable Use Directive. And uh, when we're talking about the playgrounds today, I think the Article 12 is something which, if you read it, it says, you know, that it needs to be restrictions or bans on use of pesticides in and around playgrounds and other sensitive areas. And it doesn't seem to be happening at all. I think this is where the commission has not uh, utilized its powers to actually ensure that the member states enforce the sustainable use directive and maybe, you know, do a few more infringements because the situation is in the diet. I want to um, address also one aspect which goes beyond uh, the human health, here, and that's soil. Uh, soil is not just a bunch of minerals, but actually it's really um, foundation of, of life uh, in a way, because it's a unique ecosystem that's being heavily impacted uh, by hazardous chemicals and pesticides uh, above all. And I think this is where we need to look at on providing and harmonized legal framework for soils in the European Union to also ensure the protection of health at the end of the day, uh, including children's health. Now, today's discussion will be a lot about playgrounds and human uh, and kind of urban environment. I think this is a really important topic because, and I'm sure Andre will talk about it, there is a challenge. On one hand, you see people talking about the need to reduce the exposure to hazardous chemicals. On the other hand, when the mosquitoes come in the early summer, uh, the reaction in Slovakia is often spray, spray, spray. You see a substantial public pressure on the municipalities and on the state that are trying to reduce the, expo the use of uh, pesticide, biocides in this case, ultimately it's all insecticide, the pesticide, uh, and, then, and kind of the, the lack of support from the side of the state, in my view, in ensuring that we actually use uh, integrated pest management. And while I fully support the organic agriculture that Sarah talked about, I think uh, we actually are not yet in a position to go fully organic, but what we are in position to do is to go for what's non-organic towards the integrated pest management and to look at it also within the urban environment, including playgrounds, and have the right tools also in the uh, Sustainable Use Directive supporting municipalities, but also other actors in substituting the use of hazardous chemicals. Because it's not only important to say no or ban, but it's also important to help and create the space for innovation and actually even allow alternatives on the market. I think this is a massive, massive problem. The registration system is actually because it's uh, built for chemicals not for biological agents, and bioagents are a really important part of the solution. So looking forward to the discussions about the problem, but even more to uh, the discussion about the solutions, because that's what we need to put on the table. Thank you very much.